Hey everyone. So in this video I'm going to be talking about strings and characters in JavaScript. Um, I'll explain a few common functions that you can use on strings and then I'll actually go through how to solve um, the letter capitalized challenge. Uh, so to declare a string in um, JavaScript we create a variable and our string goes between double quotations. So hello world is a valid string and then we're going to have var string 2 equals and you can use single quotes as well. So now we have hello Mars from Earth and then you can have some quotation, um, some punctuation, underscore, some numbers. So th these are both valid strings in JavaScript. Uh, so one common thing that you usually want to do on strings is get the length. So you just use the length function on the particular variable. So in this case, we get 11. You could also, instead of declaring the string within a variable, you can just do something like this. Uh, I am a sentence length and you get 15. So all the characters in this string, um, it's 15 characters long, so including spaces, and if we have some numbers, 19. Okay, so um, another common function that you'll want to use on strings is the replace function. So the replace function will replace a specified word in a string with another word, or with another sequence of characters. So var rep equals so it's going to replace, so strings in JavaScript are immutable, which means that you can't directly modify the string. You'll actually modify the string and it'll return the modified string and we'll set that equal to a variable. So I'll explain what I mean by this in a second. So var rep equals uh, string replace and we'll replace the word uh, hello with goodbye. And then we'll return this rep variable and we get goodbye world. Uh, so what I mean what I mean by the immutable um, JavaScript strings being immutable is that we can't do something like this. So string replace hello with goodbye in this string and then we return it, it's still hello world. You can't actually directly modify this string. You need to set it equal to a variable and then return this variable. And now you get goodbye world. Um, you can check if two strings are equal. So, string, string. so you get false, uh, I'll copy this, string uh, 3, and then so string should be equal to string 3, and we get true. Uh, another common function you can use on strings is um, the index of, so you can determine where a character or a sequence of characters are in a string. So we can return string uh, index of, and let's just say we're looking for the W. So it returns 6. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the W is in the 6th location in the in string. Uh, okay, so let's try and actually solve this challenge using um, various JavaScript uh, string functions. So function letter capitalize and then we call it line and string. Okay, so let me just make sure it's working. Argument goes here. Okay, so what we actually want to do in this challenge is take the string that's being passed and capitalize the first letter of each word. So usually what you'll want to do is when you're manipulating a string, manipulating a string in JavaScript, you'll want to separate the words in the string. So what we'll do is we'll use the function split and we'll split it on every space. So argument goes here. Since we're manipulating each word, we actually want to split it at the space. So what we'll get is an array of words. So now we have argument, comma, goes, comma, here. And we can also split it by every character by doing that. And now we get this whole thing. Uh, we can also split it on the G, for example. So we get R, humans, etc. So we basically wherever, wherever there's a G, we split it into an array at those lo at that location. Okay. So in this case, we want to manipulate each word. So now we have argument goes here, and now you can do something like return words of zero, and we get argument. Return words of one, goes, etc. So it's really easy to manipulate the string once you convert it to an array first. So now what we'll do is we'll loop through 
all the words words dot length so length the length function um, exists for both arrays and for strings and then I plus plus so final string equals so we're gonna store our result in final string actually you know what we'll just manipulate words directly okay so what we'll do now is for each word we're gonna wanna take the first character and capitalize it so words of I we want to actually take this first character so for example the first word is argument so argument is already capitalized so let's make it argument so what we're gonna to want to do is take argument and split it like this and then capitalize the first character so that's what we want to do so we're gonna use a function called uh, substring or substr uh, which takes this which um, creates a substring of a certain string so words of i substring of zero so it's starting from the beginning of the string and length one so we're getting the first character in the string what we want to do with this now is use another function called to uppercase and this uppercase is this particular string which in this case is just a single character so we're taking the this word and we're taking the first character and then this only um, uppercase is the first character, but we want to combine it with the rest of the string so we concatenate the rest of the string, words of i, substring, and now we do one. So what this is going to do is it's going to start from the second character, and if we don't specify a length, it'll go all the way to the end. So now if we return words, we get argument goes here with each word having the capital letter. Um, and then this is actually the join function is actually an array function but it um, it's useful because it joins an array back into a string so now we get argument goes here so let's try on I ran there and we get I ran there so this is a really simple uh, solution to this challenge uh, we covered some basic uh, JavaScript string functions uh, in the next tutorial, um, I'll list a lot of the common JavaScript functions along with some regular expressions.